His Excellency Sheikh Nayan bin Mubarak Al Nayan, His Excellency Sri Sanjay Sudhir Ji, esteemed members of Jain International Trade Organization and Jain Community, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Jai Janendra. I am extremely honored and inspired today to stand before you all. Uh, I was introduced to talk about shipping, but I think I'm going to speak a little bit about sustainability, a concept which is uh, deeply integral, an integral part of our religion, actually, and how in today's modern world it is, uh, it's a concept which is uh, it integrated in the businesses. Friends, uh, our sutras, Jain sutras, such as Tattvartha and Acharanga, have focused on interdependence, among other things. Interdependence of humans and laws of nature, the responsibility of humans to preserve nature, living simply and avoiding unnecessary waste generation, which in today's modern world, it translates into the concepts such as biodiversity preservation, maintaining ecological balance, climate adaptation, and circular economy. Therefore, we are already religiously deeply rooted in the principles of modern sustainability. Nonetheless, we have to be more conscious about incorporating and promoting these principles in our businesses, among ourselves, among our network of friends, families, and colleagues. We should recall our ancient principle that all of nature is bound together. And if one does not care for nature, one does not, does not care for him, oneself. As our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Bhai Modi said and was reiterated by our chairman Shri Gautam Bhai Adani that as a globally spread community, we are truly a microcosm of the concept of Vasudeva Kutumbakam or the world is one family. One earth, one family, one future was a theme of India's G20 presidency last year. However, it should not be just an Indian concept, and we must globalize it through our joint actions. Today's the current global scenario makes for a fragmented, polarized world with wars, geopolitical tensions escalating in different parts of the world. Therefore, our collaborative actions gain even more importance. Our entrepreneurial drive, influential positions as giants, and strong network gives us leverage to mobilize support for sustainability initiatives anywhere across the world, be it related to business or be it related to the community. The only thing we must keep in mind, however, is that sustainability is a very contextual and driven by local circumstances. What it means for Adani Group? At the Adani Group, we are completely aligned with the national priorities. The group has made a decisive commitment to invest $70 billion by 2030. We have already begun our journey to develop and operate 45 gigawatt of renewable energy capacity by 2030 by building world's largest single location 30 gigawatt renewable park. And friends, as they see, once this completed, it will be visible from space. For our port operations, we will set a national, national benchmark being the only carbon neutral port operations by 2025 and be a net zero 
for Adani Port Special Economic Zone by 2040. Our brands, Ambuja and ACC, are leading sustainable revolution in the cement industry, with over 90% of our cement production coming from recycling waste fly ash and slag. We are also committed to powering 60% of our cement production with renewable energy by 2028. Under our transmission and distribution, Adani Electric Electricity's current supply in Mumbai is already 38% green, and we are on course to increase this number by 60% in 2027. <laughs> Additionally, to achieve net zero emissions, we have begun various scope one, two, three activities, such as electrifying operations, sourcing renewable energy, and adopting circular economy measures. Today, 100% of our operational capacity, zero waste to landfill, uh, uh, today 100% of our operational sites are certified for water positivity for plants, with over 200 megawatt operating capacity, zero waste to landfill, and single-use plastic-free. Recently, our honorable chairman had shared that Adani Group continues to execute on its historical pledge in support of World Economic Forum of their ambition to plant one trillion trees by 2030. Of this Global World Economic Forum pledge, Adani Group has committed to plant 100 million trees by 2030, one of the most ambitious pledges by an Indian corporate globally. We are already today at 29 million trees. So these are some of the illustrative examples to highlight our efforts in the field of sustainability. From my vantage point, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. Therefore, we must not be overswayed by a singularity of thoughts or agenda. What may be an appropriate sustainable development approach for India may not be workable elsewhere. And this is where our openness to adapt and community-based approach is critical. Friends, our Jain sadhus and sadhvijis, wherever they traveled, carry our core religious philosophy of self-restraint and interdependence. We just have to embrace our ancient wisdom and guided by the past to build a better future. With these thoughts, I would like to conclude my remarks. Thank you. Jai Janendra.